Johnny Collinson, a uh, big mountain skier in Salt Lake City, Utah. Big mountain skiing, it's kind of draws from a, a lot of different categories. We're going out kind of beyond any sort of boundary, whether that's be it foot power, snowmobiles, helicopters, bush planes, just getting out in the backcountry, which is, we define as anything kind of outside of a ski resort. As a skier, kind of our worst fear is an ACL injury. Two years ago, blew my knee for the first time. I was pretty bummed, but it happened at a good time in the season. A month and a half after getting back on snow, I blew my knee again. That was the real bummer. It was like, thought I was done, you know, and had just crushed this recovery. And so, yeah, blowing it again was pretty heartbreaking. You know, there's only one path forward, really, and just had to take the steps. Had another surgery, so I'm kind of in the middle of that second surgery right now. The light at the end of the tunnel for me, of course, is just skiing and just getting back to what I love to do. From day one with the injury, I just kind of had my eyes set on being positive. I think I have a pretty positive outlook naturally, and so that just carried into the injury and you know, I just didn't see any use in caring too much about what I couldn't do or like the negative sides. It was, I just saw a little more purpose in looking at what I can do that's gonna progress me forward. And having that attitude just seemed to speed everything up. It was appreciating just the little things I could do every day. And before I knew it, it was, you know, months had gone by. I've really learned to love the recovery process, like the rehab process slash recovery process and just trying to treat my body a bit better. When you sign up to be a pro skier, it's like drink a lot of beer, ski fast and like that's kind of it. And so to try and extend my career, it's been really cool to learn. It's like, all right, treat it good, warm it up, cool it down, get it ready to go ski, you know, and, and hopefully that's going to help my career last. Easy thing for that is the supplements, which I've kind of just started implementing in the past couple of years, you know. The Red Bull nutritionist was like looking at my protein intake and Ian Walsh actually was like, dude, Momentus is the best. And I'd kind of seen it in the gym there. And I was like, man, I was really drawn by like the labeling, you know, flip it over. And it was just like these clean, good ingredients that I could understand myself. And so it just felt good to use that um, and just be putting this like clean protein into my body. NSF certified for sport, like all these things that make it top line. And the supplement world, it's not really regulated on how, like what ingredients are in there. And to have that third party come in and like verify clean and safe, what's in there is in there, makes you just feel good about putting it in your body pro-athlete or not pro-athlete. Nutrition is pretty key for anybody that lives on this planet. And, you know, I am technically like a professional athlete, get to work with all these great companies and sponsors, but I'm just a person, you know, and I don't view myself as anything other than kind of this, the same makeup as everybody else that's on the planet. Pro-athlete or not pro-athlete, we're all the same and we can all use the same good things in our body and we can all care about where it's coming from, what's in it, and just taking care of our one body and utilizing it as best we can. And you know, whether you're running a mile a day or you're trying to climb Everest, whatever your goal is, we're all on the same playing field in that regard. You can put in all the work you want, but if you're not recovering from it, kind of like digging a bottomless pit. And so I've really tried to take sleep seriously this year. Like as this year, as I've been learning about sleep and how like, you know, that's just like when your body's recovering. Super psyched on, yeah, the momentous sleep product. Just, yeah, keeping in mind what happens in your body while you're sleeping and recovering. It's just like this crucial part. And for me, whether that's, you know, the initial falling asleep and then you know, the 2 a.m. wake up, stressing about my tax refund or whatever. 
kind of like has helped eliminate that more or less. You know, it's like I wake up and I'm just like nice to just fall back asleep. Also, I've been gotten to use it like with international travel now. A couple weeks ago, um, was over in Asia, and just like getting back in a good sleep rhythm. You know, when you fly overseas and it's you can just get like a solid night's sleep, wake up at the right time, being kind of refreshed, it just like sets the course for the trip and makes it a lot easier. And uh, I think the sleep product like really helped with that. So I'm really excited to use it on these bigger trips when I actually have kind of like schedules or stuff I gotta do, it's gonna be pretty useful. I I've been really lucky to have this injury guide me and my sponsors kind of guide me into this path of learning about it. You know, and I'd love to help guide more people down that road that aren't aware of these things, of how to take care of their body. But I don't attribute me caring about it to being an athlete. I was like really excited to work with Momentous. You know, at first with the protein, like such a crucial part to, of my recovery, but not just my recovery, my knee, my like recovery every day after working out. And then this year with kind of bringing in sleep into the program, it's really cool because it's taking a bird's eye view of what a complete package would look like for kind of living a healthy, active lifestyle, which being active is a really important part of being a human. It's just nice to be out and moving around and using this like amazing body that we've been given.